welcome back to the channel. Uh, quick episode of What's Broken Now. Uh, this is a rubber bumper MGB Roadster. Uh, it's having problems with head gasket. It's bubbling on this corner there. And you can see it bubbling. Uh, when we did the restoration on this, we didn't do head gasket because it was running perfect. We just did front and rear seals, various other gaskets, but not head gasket. So I think what it'll be is take the tension off the alternator, coolant sensor. I just dropped that bottom hose. The oil was in the container. It wasn't in the coolant. Uh, heat the hose, carbs in the manifold other heat to hose, various cables, so throttle, choke, and heater controls, uh, rocker cover off, rockers off, uh, push rods out, and then we should be good to take the head off. So compared to, for example, that 207 I did, this should, <laughs> this should be easy. We'll see. Right, this is the difference between old and modern engines. So we're about 40 minutes after I dropped the coolant. Uh, in the, man the carbs are off, in the manifold's off. I took the belt off the alternator. I really don't know why, I didn't need to. Um, <coughs> all, the connect sorry. all the connections to the inlet manifold cables and stuff are off. Um, we've got to take cable off the heater control valve and that tube which goes to the heater and then it's rockers off push rods at all oh, hoping I can just undo these out the two exhaust manifold studs and pull this this way because not that's not sealing well it's not tight you can't there's a limit to how tight you can tighten that up it's like the oil breather for the crankcase but it's a bit loose and I did try glue not gluing it but gasket stuff on it uh, yeah I've marked the plug leaks took the distributor cap off uh, so, so, yeah probably about 20 minutes and the head will be off we'll take that weather's lovely as you can hear storm here I don't know we had a slight fence panel incident with my freelander but uh, the Freelander one, I'll insert a picture here and a picture after I've clipped the wing we're about together here. There we go. Okay, next bit. Right, yeah. We're about to watch me take off the head studs with a windy gun. Well, it's not a windy gun, it's a Milwaukee, but you know what I mean. Um, obviously, I've cracked them first in the correct order, or oh, I think it's the correct order. So, oh no, better if there was less water in my Milwaukee. There's some charge in the battery. One more more call out. Done. 
We didn't see any of that other than my butt. So I apologise. Now, with the push rods, I'm going to use the one to eight piece of paddle technique. Hopefully, should have made holes in this first. What I'll do is I'll just line them up. I'll put holes in them later. Uh. What I'll do is I'll put tissue down, then I'll just line them up. Then I'll put holes in the cardboard later. Uh. I'll also get oil on the way. Obviously, I should be using wind protectors. <laughs> Lightly tap and try some things. There we go. What we'll also do Bad, bad. Doesn't look like there's tremendous damage. This was the corner that was leaking. But it's not in very good condition. That's about an hour. Which when you mechanics going on about all oh, these old engines you can just strip apart by the side of the road using one spanner. I think this is kind of what they're talking about. Well this is what they're talking about. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, do some investigation and see what we can see. And yeah, now for the fiddly time consuming bits. Clean the head up. Uh, just with a bronze brush in a bronze, one of those. Uh, which shouldn't damage cast iron. Uh, just to do the combust uh, combustion chambers after I soaked them in pound treatment oil for a bit, which seems to make things a bit easier to come off and clean those up, clean the surface of the head up, um, only really going to 
you, you can see that it's been skimmed marks previously so it's just to clean the old gasket stuff off really nothing don't want to be gouging or anything um yeah clean the block up go and pick the head set head gasket set up which are friendly local motor factors ab factors a chain tone uh got in for me i don't know overnight 25 quid i think for a full set so we might as well just crack on and get this back together um which should hopefully be obviously it goes a bit slower going back together than it is coming apart but a couple of hours should be back together and also get that oil off that way so yeah we put a little bit of don't look at that that's not my mate's daughter's towel which was left in my van when i did a removal um clean the middle two pistons up most of the head surface i'm just going to go and get some plastic uh mesh wire wool and a headset as we saw head is done and then we can look again but i need to find a workshop manual i also need to clean two of the head studs come out which is that one and that one which are filled with oil and debris so i need to uh clean those out with a air gun and spraying cleaning stuff down there but that should be no no dramas yeah so do a little uh parts run and we're rocking so I've resealed this uh tap it cover gasket breather thing clean the head uh top the block up clean the pistons up they're looking nice the you already saw with the head is clean so that can go back on now we start putting it back together Yeah, so we started on this about 10. It's now two ish. Um, and we, 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 we're getting it. Shouldn't be too long. I'm going to go and pick a new distributor cap up. Connect various bits and bogs. Choke cables pretty much back on. That's part I left that on the linkage between the two carbs. Um, for anyone who was cringing, I know I have some. Clean t well, that was cleanish, but I'm not doing so much on that side. Clean towels. Uh, hopefully, maybe an hour. Should have a test start, perhaps. Yay! And here we have it. Sorry, it's a bit noisy. Four liters of antifreeze, a bit of water, and it's like a very noisy watch. No steam now. It runs a lot better. Especially the choke off, it's not fully warm.
starting to bleed this a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. So we've got to do something with the wiper boxes. I don't want to change the wiper boxes because they're a nightmare. So we're gonna try a bit of a cunning plan. See if it works. So that's that. Till I can move it outside, run it for a bit longer. Maybe just check the time ignition timing on it. Uh, the other problem we had: the spline's a bit knackered on this wheel box, and sometimes it'd pop off and then wouldn't turn. So you had to just knock it back down again. So what I did was drill it uh, with 3.5 mil drill bit, and then tap it M4, and then just use an M4 by 12. Uh, button head, which keeps it nice and secure. So yeah, that's that done. Uh, this, I'm just going to move it off the lift, but it's absolutely torrential out there. Uh, it was something me and my mate bought. It's a V6 full motion. And I think we got it for 200 quid. Quite sure what we're going to do with it yet. And the clutch is a bit funny. The guy who bought it off said the clutch was fine when he parked it up. In those famous, famous words. Sorry, it's a proper gale today. Even though I've got a bungee on my door, it's, it's uh, giving it a bit. Yeah, so I might have a go at trying to back bleed the clutch, possibly. Because the pedal only comes halfway up. And you can start it in gear and move it, and the clutch works, but you can't start it, then put it in gear. So, yeah, we'll, um, so I think that's probably it for today. So, thank you for watching. Uh, if I even make this into a video, we'll see. Might do. Uh, take care. See you later. Please like, comment, subscribe, etc.